interesting stories after the break, global women in management and development in Angoram. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This is TV1 News. Nine Papua New Guinean women are now able to share their enhanced management skills to drive economic and social change in their communities after attending the Global Women in Management workshop in Indonesia recently. The workshop is part of the ExxonMobil PNG's initiative to empower women in management skills, thus supporting through its Women's Economic Opportunity Initiative. The women were all welcomed back today in a small but significant reception at the Gateway Hotel in Port Mosby. The four-week-long workshop saw these women from different walks of life and career paths participate in a very bracing and enhancing informative-driven course to learn and be informed, especially on avenues and pathways that can be taken through management skills in contributing to each of their communities and more effectively to the country's development and growth. Participant Elizabeth Omeri, who is attached with Book Belong Pikinini, highlighted that the workshop was an uplifting experience for all participants who have had a great opportunity presented to them by the ExxonMobil. I just want to thank ExxonMobil for continuing the wonderful support to empower women in different areas, different sectors. For women to be able to do what they're good at, they need to be empowered, they need to be upskilled. Also present at the event was one of the first participants and community development support manager, public and government affairs, C. Sarkini, who noted that this initiative has started in 2005. However, it has grown throughout the years with a total of 62 who have participated. So for me, it's, I'm actually very proud when I see each of the women that Exxon sends off. It's a real passion of mine personally. And um, I'm a really excited that I am pleased to be working with a company that puts such effort into developing women both in and outside of the company. The organization's public and government affairs manager, Daniel Worrell, whilst acknowledging the participants, noted that the initiative will empower women and contribute to enhancing and developing further the skills that these women have. Uh, the program aims to strengthen women's management, leadership uh, and technical skills to advance economic opportunities and to build the next generation of, uh, of women leaders here in Papua New Guinea. He noted that the organization will be looking at continuing this workshop for women to participate. Email the Wavik, TV1 News. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill has called on Belden Nama to stop grandstanding over the Supreme Court decision on the Manus Regional Processing Centre and to let the governments of Papua New Guinea and Australia go about getting on with the process of adhering to court orders. O'Neill said closure of the centre